a disappointing week that saw KCCFC, 13 times Uganda Premier League champions, go down twice in a space of four days to potential title contenders. We bring to you everything, the highlights, the fans' reactions, the coaches' reactions from the games that happened this week. And everything on the show tonight is season two, episode three of the KCCFC TV show. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. You and I are walking this journey together. Now to start it off with the club news, the Under-17 Sekafa tournament, also doubling as the AFCON Under-17 Zono qualifiers. And then Uganda had the game this week, and that was against Kenya, and then Ethiopia. And then in this game, we had five youngsters, teenagers, that represented KCCFC on the Under-17 team, call it the Cubs. Players like Juma Ibrahim, who is the captain of this team. Players like Magogo Shafiq, players like Ma Oscar, Players like Mwanje Elvis, Eddie, and Mukisa Simon. Those are the five youngsters, teenagers, that represented KCCFC in this game. And then, definitely, Ibrahim Juma being the captain in this one. And Ma Oscar scoring a hat trick against Kenya. That was Uganda's first game in the Sekapa Under 17 tournament called the Afcon Zono Qualifiers. That is the youngster, Ma Oscar. He scored 17 goals last season in the Pupa Juniors League before the league was aborted due to the pandemic. And he played 14 games in his first season. For KCCFC, that is the KCCFC Soccer Academy. The youngsters still went on and scored two goals against Ethiopia, that game ending 3 0 in favor of the Uganda Cubs. And then he's the top scorer of this tournament. So far in two games, the player has five goals. I mean, talk about a guy who is very brilliant in front of goal. He might be pin sized, but he can give you a goal from any angle. He can head that ball in, he can tap in, he can run and score. So, top class stuff for KCCFC because if you have a top scorer in this tournament, being Mao Oscar with five goals, I mean, what more does, does the club want from, from a youngster like that? And so keep representing the five youngsters in that tournament. That is the Sekafa Under-17 tournament happening in Rwanda. And we know that you will keep flying the flag of KCCFC and Uganda higher. So they'll be playing the semi-finals. We'll be getting to know against which team. And we hope they even make the finals and go on to lift the Sekafa Under-17 Cup, just like the Under-20 team did when they lifted that cup just a few weeks ago in Tanzania. Now speaking about match highlights, those are the games that happened for KCCFC this week. On Tuesday 15th December, KCCFC played the derby that was against Villa away at the Bombo Military Barracks grounds that is in Bombo. And that game was against AC Villa, uh, an all-time rival to KCCFC and uh, games against AC Villa. You get to think that the club has to really turn up, but unfortunately, that did not happen because SC Villa beat KCCFC 2-1. That, that game happening in Bombo, definitely SC Villa taking the lead through Kabonge, who scored early in first half, and the game going to the break at 1-0. KCFC obviously asking questions in that game, but uh, SC Villa having answers to all the questions that were being asked. You got to think that it was just only a moment of time that uh, KCFC was to get a goal, but that did not happen in the first half. Definitely KCFC having changes in this one because Samuel Kato started at the heart of defense in place of Peter Magambo, who was rested for that one. And then Herbert Achai played as a wing back. Uh, he has been playing as a left back in the past three games, but then in that one he was fielded as a wing back. Hassan Mosana uh, stepping at the back, and that was playing in the left back position. And the team getting maintained. Just like it played against Barra City, definitely players like Loro Mazengo playing in the defensive midfield alongside um, Mugume Ashraf, Kezron Kizito, that was the midfield. On one wing, we had um, Samson Kigozi and then the, the partnership of Samuel Senyonjo and Brian Ahewa playing in this one. But unfortunately, the first half ending 1-0 in favour of Villa and then in the second half, KCFC kept on asking questions in this one. But then it was Villa that found that second goal through Sechiganda a lobe and uh, the ball hitting the post and then going in and uh, j just shortly after he had scored Brian Aheba was brought down in the box and then a penalty was awarded to KCCFC and the top scorer of the Saturday Uganda Premier League so far Brian Aheba stepping up and slotting that penalty home and getting KCCFC that consolation in that one so the game ending 2-1 in favor of Villa uh, this very disappointing I should tell you because uh, you got to think that the club was having a very good run three games 
uh, winning 2-1 uh, away against Bright Stars, 8-0 against Ondupark at home, 2-0 against Barra City. And he thought that this was the game to give the club that morale, the momentum, and you know, going forward, especially now that the club will be playing in cuff. But that did not happen, and KCFC going on to lose this one, 2 one And that was uh, all about that game happening at Bombo. But I mean, a lot of positives speak from this one. Definitely, Brian Aheba continuing his form. And um, also, having some youngsters feature in this one because uh, we had uh, Kato get back into the team and then uh, have Phil Bato Benchan coming off the bench and featuring in this one. And then later on in the game also, Peter Magambo came on and, as a substitute and uh, replacing um, that was Kato Samuel. So, disappointing result, I should say, but I tell you, Villa, in the second leg that will be happening at the MTN Omondi Stadium, come next year, uh, you're going to pay for this one. You have a date to pay. So that was all about that game between KCCFC and Villa away in Bombo. The other game that happened this week was between KCCFC and URA Football Club. Call them the tax collectors. That game happening at the MTN Omondi Stadium. Definitely 200 fans making it to this one because we had some fans in the VIP section that is at the KCCFC grounds. And also some fans in the ordinary section. Remember FUFA gave the green light for fans to return in this one. So at least there was some bit of I mean, that fun environment around the stadium, definitely the stadium not having full capacity yet, but at least with the 200, the, fans, the players are not are able to feel at least home because they feel that they are being cheered on and uh, people out there are watching. So that game uh, ending 2-1 in favor of URA Football Club, a very disappointing result, I should say. It has been a really bad week for KCCFC. Uh, and in this one, uh, still, the man himself, Brian Ahewa, nodded KCCFC ahead in the first half. Negojeri one C, Bagaza Kokbanga or Samson Chigozi, now crossing on Pirana Gotoka, but in the Matomer of Pirana Guingira Katimba. Golemu, Cassis of C. Emuzero, Cassis of C. MTN Oman Stadium. Now, at the time when Brian Ahewa nodded KCCFC ahead, definitely KCFC was asking a lot of questions, but the custodian of URA, that is Nafi and Alonzi, had a lot of answers to this one because he kept on keeping out most of the efforts that were being asked and Mugume Ashraf coming into this one with the very brilliant game in the first 25 minutes also. Then Kezronch is to two because they were teaming up with Mugume in that midfield. But then you are still having answers to most of the questions that were being asked by KCCFC. As the game went on in the first half, Habat Achai took back a back pass that was to Charles Tukwago. Unfortunately, that ball going out. You are a football club, got a corner in this one and the corner was delivered quite well for Benjamin Nyakojo, a URA defender, to nod the equalizer in the first half. Corner, Elio Kubiri, in the team of URA FC. Basimu Dompira Mwapuna, Kuchele Bakusamina, and Kuyingira Katimba. Goal, Elio Kubiri, Elio Suzonieno, Yachacha De Nadera, team of URA, Mukufuna Kabone, and Sofa, Mchuriti Nenei Chisoka. Yeah, KCC FC, those are Kutumaliwa Sobra Mbuma, Chinga, Muhait, Benjamin Nyakojo, now, shortly after URA Football Club had scored, Habat Achai brought down Moses Seride, who had come on as a substitute in this game. The referee, Alex Muhavi, awarding a penalty to URA, and then Serubidi, Ivan, who had also come on as a substitute in this game, stepping up to take this penalty. Unfortunately, his kick went up and above. KCCFC living dangerously in this one, but surviving this moment. Out here, URFC. Now, shortly after URA Football Club had missed a penalty, they kept on asking questions towards the end of the first half. Joaquim Mojera on the right wing asking questions to Habat Achai. And until he found that space down the right flank, he put that ball beautifully in the heart of the defence. And then their captain, Shafiq Kajimu, tapping home to make it 2-1 for URA Football Club before the first half ended. After the interval, definitely KCCFC made some changes. Brighton Nukani handed his debut playing his first game for KCCFC since he made that move from Proline on loan. Uh, he had a beautiful 45 minutes, I should say, uh, stringing those beautiful passes uh, just through the, the defense of, of URA and he kept on playing beautifully well 
with Hassan Musa and because Musa and I kept on bringing those crosses. But then the URA defense uh, was equal to the task and then plus their keeper Nafian Alionzi. And the game ending 2-1 just like it was in the first half, uh, KCCFC registering the second loss in a space of four days. Unfortunately, these are not familiar things uh, to KCCFC. And uh, Sam Simba continuing his very good form against KCCFC because in the last three games at the MTN Omondi Stadium, Sam Simba has won twice and drawn once. So Mike Motemi is yet to win against Sam Simba at that ground. And uh, you get to think in the last six games played between, uh, last six or five games played between KCCFC and URA Football Club, KCCFC has only won once. That was 1-0 in 2018, and uh, that goal was scored by Timothy Awani. And uh, that goal was at the Mandela National Stadium, Namboli. So since then, KCCFC has not won against URA because the next game, URA beat KCCFC at the MTN Omondi, that was 2-1. And then last season, that was 1-1, still at the MTN Omondi Stadium. Away in Ndeje, URA won that game 2-1. And again, this season, URA has beat KCCFC 2-1. So unfamiliar stuff for KCCFC. Uh, the tax collectors keep collecting their taxes, so I'm uh, waiting for this time. But uh, just like I said for Vida, you have a debt to pay. So the second round, the second leg, uh, we, we are really taking note of these teams that are, are making us not enjoy our weekends, just like we had this one. But I should say, we have a big debt to pay. Now we'll be going to a break, and when we return, we come back with the gaffer, Mike Hillary Motevi's reactions after those losses against URA Football Club and AC Villa, and also what the fans had to say after picking up two losses in the space of four days. Everything after this break. Welcome back from that break. Just like we told you, we have the fans' reactions after those losses last week in a space of four days against AC Villa away in Bombo and against URA Football Club at the MTN Omondi Stadium. Now, we happen to talk to the fans after these losses, and I should say the fans were bitterly disappointed because they're not used to losing, and uh, I just understand uh, it's just not in our DNA to lose games. That, uh, that's at KCCFC because we're used to winning, playing very beautifully, but uh, this week being one of those ones uh, that we'll have to remember in the year 2020, losing to two title contenders, Villa and URA Football Club, but uh, we know we'll pay these guys back. But I caught up with the fans, and this is how they reacted to these games. Have a look. Pretty much in Abdalla, and the Mugazoa KCC A. Game we are Jaya Villa, Yanumi Muko, but we are Mopi Borijo. In that a chassis of Kunoma like it, Gary Kotu of Jatusa Mutim defense here. Sambia we were defending that Magamba, that to manage Dot Sambiro and Tweta Mukato Mupia, but name Samba Florida Cola, but at Subiroko choose a much rather. Then Wakati was the one man, honestly. A man Gaba de Mana for Mozuita, they were for one Manum Pia, but a man Gabu Zemuko. So we are next time to Jagaza from Kamawange. My name is Edwin Waiswa. I'm a KCC fan uh, about the Villa game. I was so disappointed with coach Mike Mutebi uh, on, the, on the first team which he brought on, on the field. Uh, me, the main disappointing thing was how could you change a winning team which had brought three wins in a row. Uh, you change it, uh, he brought in Kato who had never featured in any game. Uh, that was uh, somehow a disappointing part. Magambo had a better game. The previous games had a better one. Uh, he took him out, he brought in Kato, and the interchange of uh, Chai and uh, Musana in that left flank was so disappointing to me. I think Musana was a, a weapon in front than Chai being there because he, he is used to being a defender now. So that was my very disappointing part. But there were, there were some positives which I saw in the game. Uh, Mazengo is catching up with the Ugandan style of play. 
that was one positive and another one Brian Ahep were coming back to the score sheet it was another positive because he, he had missed the previous game against Timbara City without a goal this one he came up is now topping the charts that is a positive to build on uh, the first thing I saw on the match our coach had limited substitutes we had two goalkeepers on the pitch uh, on subs we had uh, three defenders and one in, in a in a and one midfielder so i think that costed us a win and two when you go to the goals we considered Ochai was not i was so conservative he was not moving which gave uh in the hero and uh kakomo space to penetrate in our side and uh, they were doing whatever they did until they scored us the, that first goal. Amanya Nelson, Selufusa, Okuba Ibusego, Mogizwa KCC A Football Club. Nyakusaba ba coach, Okutusa ku approach, Nadala Kumipira, Ifana Wijicho, Dija Okubisa, Ifana Wijicho. In a cola, a ya our way, Inzo Uta to call it a new, Gatuganza Kubisa, Ifana Wijicho. So, to know Chusa Chusa, Munava Zanyava take one with Sawe, Treta Gava Zanyava in Gavin Sawe, Ava take them into their struggle, Gatreta Gava Sajangava or Benjan, buying them with Sawe, Baruane, to feed on Gatwagala win, competed in Jawe. I am Gonza Galogias, a KCCA fan from Nakawa Division. Uh, yesterday's game against the Sevilla was, was our first loss of the season and it did not go well with many fans because it was a derby and uh, one of the reasons i think we lost that game is uh, villa had a game plan much earlier and uh, they, they got it to us as well as early as the game started they were aggressive on us we we had many soft players on the pitch so we hold the ball a lot more and i think even the tough disturbed us so much when you look at uh, players like Afadia did not have the best of the day. You look at players like Loro Mazengo did not have the best of the day as well because we know there are more softer players in our team than they are hard players in, that they were hard players in that game. <laughs> Tuze kwa awe, tusamba timu, egendo kufungana, ato jema ina match fitness, otade maa data kuwa mpira. Zema densu vila magambo ya alisigade musenta baka ye, na kubanga wabada kuwa. Na utale itapato kugemu enzibu weti. Lolo mazengo, fine, ama nyoku okubana singe shua weno, okupasa singa, okulachi. Nebuli uomu leta katimu gemu ngeno. Ito uwa de vila kulinya bulinya. Pira wabagala kulinya ye, muja kwa mpira. But so those but Catching <laughs> Kasoke ba tulage chichi chumba ina u zetu ngang zetumba dendo u zetu. Tupola mla vita o. Nepa ni njia wa wa experience ni ngang na u ni. Oku 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 kaya yoki dako wakati utinzo kolo bolondi. 
Lafisha ni bainyanga bako mieo. Nchene tegele zanti okulu zinga machi bidi ezo mudiri nganwa. Chitu nize munyo. Na eche nizo kugamba nti. Tuongere muka mani. Mubaka ne maso. Kwa baka ya fe. Elabi semu obunafu. Basa janga batu sensera. Batu yingira. Nga tulimu obunafu nafu. Sababu sabija stuongere muko. Sogolo kugenda ate mukafu. Tubenga tuchusa chusa muko. Ensobi zibawo. Nisinga anaku. Uh, misinga bukenya ten. Njaga da kuraba angali mchisawo. Simso vila movi nja na naku. Deni nebaka ya levita. Nji misinga nyo. Na yon suwa yutu jia kuita kuna yewa dakao. Wosu suwa. Na yon kuna jijamu. Na yon kuna 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 yabira wama nyo kusaha kuwe randono. Wizuwe kuna yutu nyo kule nyo nyo kongira mu. Kwa kwa langavuli jo. Tuwa chitwaja yose kafe. Yotu jia bima lireza. Jia guja yo. Now for the fans, honestly, as a football club, we stand with you. We know you're not used to losing games and uh, this we know. As a football club, uh, we take this very seriously and uh, we know we have very many games that we're going to play this season. We have a calf game this week. Uh, that is on Wednesday against AS Chigali away in Rwanda. We have the return on the 6th of January. The game will be in Uganda. We'll be telling you the venue. And then the league will also be resuming. That is in February. The Uganda Premier League plus the stand because Uganda Cup will also be happening. So I tell you what, we are going to be uh, more serious than before. And also just to tell you, the league is a marathon. And definitely in a marathon, is the time when you're going to lead the pack. It's the time when you're going to get in the middle of the pack. It's the time when you're going to get number four. It's the time when you might even start from the back and definitely even win the marathon. So the league is a marathon. Uh, it's not a sprint. Let's not think that we're going to lead from uh, probably day one of the league until day 30 when we play the 30th game. But uh, I tell you what, we're going to come back very stronger and more seriously than before. And the players uh, still believe in, in the philosophy of the manager. And also, uh, when our eyes are still set to the goals for the season, that is group 14, 11. That is, the club wants to make the group stages of the CAF Confederations Cup. It will be the second time the club plays in the group stages of the CAF Confederations Cup. That's if it makes it this year. Then the club also wants to win the 14th Uganda Premier League title and also win the 11th Uganda Cup. We still have our eyes set to these goals and uh, we are more serious than before. So, uh, still speaking about the reactions after those back-to-back -back losses, we caught up with the gaffer, Michael Arimotevi, after the game against QRA Football Club. He had a lot to say. And then we also caught up with his assistant manager, Mole Biekwa, so fresh from Tanzania, winning that Sekafa under 20 tournament. Call it also the AFCON Zono qualifiers for the under 20 category. We caught up with these two, and these were their reactions after the game against Villa and URA. Have a look. I think Villa played well first half. They put a lot of pressure on us. Their intensity was too high. They pressed a lot. So we failed to answer them in the first half. So when we went back in the dressing room, we had to iron out such problems. And uh, second half was ours, indeed. We played so well, but we just missed those chances. And uh, all in all, I think it wasn't our day because uh, boys did a lot. Uh, we changed the game second half. We have been more, more uh, physical than first half. We possessed, I think could have been the results of the day, but uh, we are just focusing uh, into our future. We have a, a big game on, uh, on Friday against Revenue, which is uh, one of the, the serious teams in the league. They have been giving us a hell of problems. Um, we need to go, and uh, because now Villa's game is not important now, the most important game is the game of the future, which is on Friday. We need to see clearly what uh, had led, had, what what has caused us this loss to see that we don't go into such situation next time. Yeah, we've been observing Kato for, for all this uh, all this long and he has been improving. We thought he would have been a better player in today's game, but as you know, he failed. But I cannot blame him alone. All team failed, mainly the first half. Uh, we substituted him because uh, He's, uh, he was tired a bit, his match fitness was down. Um, I think we have just to focus the, uh, for the future, not today's game because it's done. 
uh, we have to focus on revenue scheme, which is on Friday. I think we are going to get uh, a response from the doctor. I'm not a doctor. He's going to tell us how many players got injured because uh, we saw a lot limping before the end of the game. He will tell us exactly and we shall plan according to what he has given us. We were very careless. Uh, the first goal we considered was a careless back pass by a chai, which resulted in the corner, and he conceded. Um, though you are a, who are more effective in the final third, the four chances they got, they scored two, missed a penalty. For us, we are playing in the midfield well, but not penetrating enough too many square passes. So we did not give a hard time. You are in the final third. But uh, this is a marathon. They deserve to win because they utilize their chances. On our side, we did not. We must work on keeping the ball better. If we have the ball, we can do anything. But when we are in a hurry, you know, uh, the players are rushy, you see. So we have to work on keeping the ball and pressing high. Pressing high, refusing the opponents to play. This time round, we gave a lot of room for the URA players to play, you see. But that will be worked on. Uh, as we go forward. Physicality, for me, doesn't matter. The understanding of the game of the player is what matters, okay? But, uh, of course, it's going, to, it's going to compete with Ashraf Mandela in that area, you see, Mogume. So, the challenge is on the continent. Now those are the reactions from the gaffers, the assistant manager, KCCFC Mole Biekwaso, and the gaffer himself, the main guy, Michael Arimotebi, and uh, getting to say that uh, definitely URA uh, were the better team on the day, and they're going to be big title contenders, and uh, they're the team to beat because they stayed with most of their players that uh, were part of the team last season. That is uh, what the gaffer himself had to say, that is Michael Arimotebi, and saying the boys have to react better, especially in the games, uh, that will be happening this week, that is the CAF game, and even when the league resumes. So we are going to be taking a break, and when we return, we have the build-up to that CAF, Confederations CAF game next week, away in Chigali, against AS Chigali. Everything after this break. Now welcome back from that break, just like we told you, we have the build-up to that Cup Confederations Cup game that will be happening this coming week between AS Chigali and KCCA FC, that is from Uganda. The game will be in Rwanda and the game will be hosted at the Nyamirambo Stadium where KCCA FC won that Sekapa Clubs Cup last year against Azam in the final and, and that marked KCCA FC's second uh, ever sake up a club's cup game so we are very familiar with the ground that we are going to play on uh, but uh, not very familiar with the team that we are going to play that that being AS Chigali and uh, just to tell you about AS Chigali, AS Chigali played Proline last year still in the Cup Confederations Cup uh, the game in Rwanda was a draw and then uh, the game in Kampala that was at the MT Nomondi Stadium was won by Proline and that was 3-0 so uh, you get to think that uh, KCCFC will be playing I mean, a team that is very familiar with Ugandan teams because if they played last year against Proline, and Proline is a team that uh, gets to play uh, so much that is at the MTN Nomondi Stadium. So we're playing a team that is very familiar with Ugandan teams, but not very familiar with KCCFC. So um, this game will be happening this week on the 23rd of December, and uh, the game will be hosted at the Nyamirambo Stadium. It's an artificial turf. And um, just to tell you more about these games, the referees. Uh, that will officiate this game 
uh, I already confirmed and uh, the names for these referees, uh, Muhammad Muhammad El Turef is the referee for this one and he's from Sudan. And uh, his first assistant is Ahmed Nagil Subahi, still from Sudan. Second assistant referee is Omar Hamid Hamid Muhammad Ahmed. Uh, he will be the second assistant referee. The fourth official for this game will be El Fadil Muhammad Hussein, and he's also still from Sudan. And uh, the match commissioner is Mustafa Samugabo. He's from Burundi. And Kafa has gone on to uh, put up a COVID-19 officer. This one is in charge of uh, getting to know are all the players that will be fielded on that day negative of COVID and have they tested. So uh, they will have, a, for the first time ever, in an uh, KCCFC playing in these different tournaments, that is Continental Cups, we'll have a COVID-19 officer in one of the games we'll be participating in. And this one is Mwanza Jose Nyamsori. Is the Randis. So that's what I can tell you about the officials for this game. The game I told you will be happening on the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas. Just after this game on the 23rd, the return game will be on the 6th of January, that is 2021. We'll be telling you the venue, but we're very sure it will be in Uganda. So we'll be telling you that shortly. But uh, just to speak about the game that will be happening in Rwanda. Now, the last time KCCFC played in the CAF Confederations Cup, the team lost 4-1. And that game was away in Algeria against Paradou Athletic Club. I remember for the team to play Paradou Athletic Club, KCCFC had got eliminated from the CAF Champions League, and that was early this year. Uh, definitely, KCCFC first playing uh, a team from Namibia, African Stars. Um, KCCFC losing the away game, uh, that was 2-1 to African Stars. KCCFC getting here at home and winning 2-0 to African Stars, and then qualifying for the final round. Uh, that was against Petro de Luanda. The first game in Angola ending nil-nil and he thought KCCFC had the advantage in this one but uh, the return leg in Kampala was 1-1 so Petro de Luanda qualifying for the group stages of the CAF Champions League on uh, the away goals rule. So KCCFC made it to the last round of the CAF Confederations Cup and played against Paradu Athletic Club the first game at the MTN Omondi ending nil-nil and uh, then the away game in Algeria. <sighs> Paradu Foot Athletic Club led this one 1-0 one and then Alan Okello who went on to join this club uh, just after that um, equalizing for KCCFC and then Paradu responded with three unanswered goals. The game ending 4-1 and that is the last time KCCFC ever played a continental game that was early this year. But now the club has another chance this year. Uh, it was given a bye for the first round. I did not play the first preliminary games. It's going to play this one against AS Chigali and you have to think this time the club is going to have that hunger because the club has been there before. It knows what it takes to be on the continent. Uh, it may be a different squad, but then you have some players that were part of that campaign in 2017 when the club made it to the group stages of the CAF Confederations Cup. And then the following year in 2018, the club made it to the group stages of the CAF Champions League. So it's the only Ugandan football club that has, that has ever played continental club games. Uh, since uh, that format in, changed uh, to have the group stages. Yes, we know different Ugandan clubs have played uh, different games before, but I mean the format of having uh, clubs play in the group stages. So uh, we wish the team the very best. We know the players are really motivated. They know what it takes to play uh, big competitions like these ones. And uh, because they also want to improve as, as players and because the club also wants to get to a certain level, we know they will show up and really give their best to make sure the club achieves the ultimate best. Now, still speaking about this CAF game, the gaffer himself, Michael Arimotevi, uh, gave his comments about this game shortly after that game against URA Football Club. And uh, this is what the gaffer had to say about the game between AS Chigali and KCCA Football Club. We have to react and try to amend the problems we had before and try to pick a good result there. Now that is what the gaffer thinks about that game between AS Chigali and KCCA Football Club that will be happening later on this week on the 23rd of December. But we did not only catch up with the gaffer, Mike Mutevi. We also caught up with the fans and this is what they expect from this game. Kaf, two games Rwanda, AS Chigali, Ndowoza. You are a issue be a to that game. Two games are coming, you are a Chinava game, we are a eh? Tijakuyamba nyu, ebinava mugemu, eya kaf, nabe de Rwanda. 
Uh, first, I would like to thank all those people who are making the cup draws uh, for making us the favorites in this draw. Because you know, when it is against the East African teams, we are always we come out as the favorites. You saw it when we visited Matiba Sugar. But my disappointing part in this duel is fans are not allowed in the fans I do, in the stadium. I don't know how we shall do that. Because we who like traveling, we would like to go and cheer up our team when they are playing Chigali, in Chigali. Uh, that thing will let us behind because, you know, when you travel, you experience some, a lot more things out there. But this game against Chigali, I hope in the two, in the two games you are going to play against AS Chigali, we shall become, come out as top favorites, winning. We shall win out from away, like 2-0, two, two to zero. then we shall come here and win as, as usual, like 4-0. In an ag aggregate score of 6 to nil, I don't see S, S Chigali penetrating into our back line. Game ya Chigali, so we are going to have more hard more strong and bo. Our Chigali, we are trying to do some back up, but we are not momentum way. We are not there to amble, to amble, to amble, to amble. But what I think, singa to fun ayo away goal. Jagutu ya makwa amaga manti nyango, but. Team we are in the Eva champion So I believe that we know since we score in a young we goal. We go in a two two or two one. In our favor. Chance Aba, I think chance so bida. Our game against SC 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 Chigali in Rwanda. Um, I think uh, if uh, Gigi is back because he has been down with malaria and Anukani, if they return, I think. Uh, we shall uh, we shall get uh, an easy draw with a, a score a score we we score away. Uh, then we come and finish it at here at Lugogo. Kumpira kwa fe ugua kaf confederations cup ugeni nakuvira au kwenye Nina esubi riona nti score di jetu ina esowola oburundi nyio okutua okutufunia result. In fact, na win. Echigali. Team ya fe awasambi webali, awaina ku experience, ba Dennis Siguma, ba Gifty Ali, ba Lukwago Charles, ba funye experience, ba funye exposure. So ku team we yo, eja es Chigali, eja ina bulunji na experience mu mitubi ya CAF, nsubi ila bulunji, nitutunja kufuna result, Echigali, eja kutuna kuma o wane kampala, nga tuita mu isi. It is not going to be an easy game because we know we have lost it slightly in the past two editions where we lost to A.S. Otoho here at home after losing a 3-0 away from home, a 1-2-0 at home, then we did not, we did not get the right result to, to go through. Then uh, last season we lost it at Paradou as well, so this time round we have to be much more careful because even our team is much more younger and uh, and inexperienced compared to what we had last season, compared to what we had in the past two, three, four, five seasons. This time round, we have much more players that are younger, that are just coming into the fold, and we need to gel in that very fast so that we can be able to host AS Chigali. It's not going to be an easy game, but I trust the team, I trust the coach, and I trust the process that we shall be going through. And those are the fans' expectations about that game that will be happening on the 23rd of December between AS Chigali and KCCA Football Club and we hope the players come to the party on the day and uh, live up to the expectation because we need to uh, go by that mission that is group 1411 and that's a wrap about everything that happened this week at KCCFC and just a reminder the merchandise is still being sold at KCCFC and that hashtag the campaign where your local jersey is still being pushed kind of guys as for KCCFC because at least I've been able to see all the things happen the merchandise is being sold and uh, that is at the MTN Omondi Stadium and also at KCCA, call it the City Hall, just in Kampala. And you can also order and get your merchandise, a jersey, key holder, scarf, jumper, everything, bottle, uh, using the Safe Border app. And um, just to tell you that that home and away kit for KCFC for the adults is at 35,000 Uganda shillings. And for the kids is at 40,000 because for them they get the shirt and the short. And then we have things like jumpers, guys, top class jumpers, very quality stuff. We have key holders, we have uh, bottles, we have mugs, we have scuffs. So, hey, uh, get down to the MTN Omodi Stadium or using the Safe Border app. 
and uh, get yourself that merchandise. Have something uh, that uh, makes you qualify to be a KCCFC fan. Just do not shout about the club. I'm a very big fan when you cannot inject uh, some money in your club because uh, that is one of the ways the clubs are going to uh, I mean, survive this season because uh, the revenue centers have been cut short. We no longer have all the funds coming down to the stadiums, but at least we are selling the merchandise. So uh, that is all about the merchandise at KCCFC. And also a reminder, you can still follow KCCFC on the various platforms, that is on Facebook, KCCAFC, uh, on Twitter at KCCAFC, that is Yafa case, and then on Instagram at KCCFC lowercase, and on YouTube, KCCAFC, just go and subscribe and you can be able to watch the KCCFC TV show, this same episode and all the various other episodes, the highlights about the football club, we put all the things on our YouTube pages, the press conferences, the manager's reactions, at the training sessions, hey, everything about the football club. And just as I wrap up, just to tell you this week, I've still been dressed by Animark Fashion Store. And um, just to give you something about Animark, they are on Facebook as Animark Fashion Store and on Instagram as at Animark Fashion Store. You can find them at Great Magio Shopping Center just behind Oryx Petrol Station in Bokoto and the room number is GFL04 or you can also call them on 0753-839-905. The number again is 0753-839-905 and you can get yourself a dapper look like I've had today and um, uh, last week I was, I mean I got a lot of feedback that I was quite smart and uh, just to tell you I was dressed by Animark Fashion Store and uh, it's been the same thing this week so you can Go to Bukoto and uh, just at the shop I've told you, call that number and you can be able to get yourself a look like this one. That has been it. Season 2, Episode 3 of the KCFC TV show. Next week, we'll be back with Season 2, Episode 4 and we'll be giving you everything as it happened in that Cup Confederations Cup between AS Chigali and KCCFC. That's all about this week's show. Have a good night.